What's up? We're for the best, and this is the cookhouse. Yeah. <laughs> Order up. Hey, we're for the best. We're based out of everywhere in Florida. Um, I'm Lance, I do vocals. I'm Robert Tackett, I play guitar. I'm Jacob, I play the guitar. I'm Braden, I play the drums. Um, for for the best itself, before it was a band called Blue 32 that Jacob had started. And I had met Lance on a random. I don't even music remember the website. Guy. Yeah, I don't even remember <laughs> it either. Um, but I ended up hitting him up on Facebook and asking if uh, you know he was down to be a vocalist for a band. Uh, he sent me a couple videos of him and his mom's uh, house being quiet as yeah, shit. Yeah, so I was literally like whispering, me singing or whatever. Then he hit me up. He wanted to go to like a Rays game. Yeah. I I could have swore he, he picked me up in this truck and I'm like I'm gonna die. I'm like I don't even know him. He's going to kill me. <laughs> and then, then it pretty much happened. He left the band at some point, but that's just it. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's it. Shit. But yeah, pretty much just through a website that I can't even remember the name of. It's how we all got together. Individually, I mean, my favorite, my favorite band of all time is the story so far, and they're the reason I want to like tour. That I want to play shows. So they're, they're just absolutely my biggest inspiration. For me, um, it started with watching uh, a Steve Vai guitar playthrough on uh, YouTube. And it got me hit hooked on playing guitar. And then I started listening to uh, pop punk music and the feeling and emotion that it had in it, I really connected with. And <clears throat> I felt it more when I would play guitar. Um, you know, how it would resonate with me and how I was able to let more of my emotions out uh, through the guitar that way. My biggest inspiration doing anything with For the Best is gotta be Blink-182. Because it wasn't for Blink-182, I wouldn't really know what a power chord was. <laughs> and yeah. that's all we do is power chords. But I, their song structure and everything too is, I take notes from that a lot because they got the best song structure out there in the pop punk game. We're the best. That and Metallica, but Metallica's yeah. not really related. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for me, I'd have to say Blink-182 as well. Uh, growing up, uh, a lot of my family members actually listened to Blink-182, which is hilarious because, I don't know, they're just so childish a lot of the time. <laughs> but <clears throat> I grew up listening to like Blink-182, Boxcar Racer, Plus 44, bands like that, and uh, Travis's drumming always just made me want to fucking play like that. So I figured why not play in a pop punk band, you know, it's, it's fun. It's fun as hell. You like that heavy shit too? Yeah. <laughs> Occasionally I listen to some heavier shit, but for the most part, it's like playing like, like, too stuff. And also like uh, one of my biggest inspirations now too that um, we're playing, you know, shows all the time is seeing the crowd re react to our music and how they, you know, vibe with it and how they feel. And like, I get like the biggest high when I'm on stage from that because I feel like I'm actually connecting with these people even though I'm not talking to them. There ain't nothing like it. No, there ain't isn't nothing like In that it. regard, I think the people in like the crowd who inspire me the most are the people who are in the back just. Yeah. <laughs> hey man, we see you vibing. Yeah. Vibe up, not on their head. Vibe up front. Exactly. Come up front. <laughs> Me and uh, me and Jacob like to uh, sit in our little like studio in our apartment. Typically, while well, I have like a an idea for like a type of song we want to do like that day already, then we start with a, a drum beat and then a riff, and then usually like we'll, we'll hit the chorus and then we'll you know add some vocals there, try to figure out the rest of the song from that point pretty much. Yeah, sometimes we'll like jam out you know whatever ends up working like flowing together while we're all hanging out in our practice space. And we'll pick, we'll, it, when we jam out, usually typically the song never comes out that way, but we'll take pieces here and there. We used to write the songs based off the vocals and that just turned out horribly. Yeah, it's a horrible idea for anybody to do. <laughs> I don't recommend it. <laughs> well, whatever its shape or name is, it's actually a, uh, it's a line from Naruto. <laughs> it's a, I can't remember what episode, 
but it's a uh, Shikamaru. I think it's a spoilers. I mean, it's like 15 years yeah, old at this point. Now, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, so, uh, so when Asuma dies, Shikamaru, he's all stressed out, you know, doing his thing. And he says, whatever its shape or name, the moon itself stays the same. I don't know. That kind of just sounded cool. So, or a Naruto band. There's a few, there's a, there's a lot of Naruto references. There's a new song literally named after a character from Naruto. But I got a headband in my car. I got a headband and an Akatsuki robe in my car right now. I could I could come back in five minutes and bust that out. He's even wearing the Akatsuki <laughs> socks right now too. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you could catch that. But yep. Uh, personally, my favorite song is Oasis, just because I it has a lot of emotion in it. Probably one of the more emotional songs we've made, and it has overall the sound that I have been wanting to play like for most of my life. I think so. I don't know, I think it really fits uh, the sound that we were going for at that time. My personal favorite off of whatever shape or name has to be Space, because it is very major key and very pop punk, and it doesn't suck, <laughs> <laughs> and it's fun to play. Uh, mine would have to be Space as well, too. Uh, it, it's very upbeat, it's bouncy. Uh, it's catchy and just the vibes in it, you know, they feel great. And playing it live too, it's probably one of my favorites to play. Um, that next to Oasis as well too, just because the emotions that are in those songs, it can really connect with them. And I can feel the crowd connecting <clears throat> with them too uh, whenever we play them live. Um, it's a little more difficult for me, but I mean, I, I'm stuck between three is Space, Midnight, New, New Year. Song. Yeah, bro. <laughs> We saw it in Gouge, dude. Yeah. Uh, no, nah, but they all have like their own little flair to them. Um, space is an absolute. Is, that's just a banger. You can't tell me it's not a banger. Oh, that's just, yeah. that that song. Um, uh, that means a lot to me. New Year means a lot to me. Midnight. That, that slaps. I wish. Uh, I wish we were the band we are today when we did Midnight and New Year. But I, I guess I'll go to Space. It's got a video. And the video has my ass in it. Fantastic. Check it out. Too, by the way, <laughs> definitely worth it. Yeah, I just I had a, a friend who like she usually does like uh, graphic designs for like T-shirts and stuff, and uh, I I saw some of her work on social media, and I figured uh, it'd be cool to you know have someone different and try something new. You know, uh, I think our first record was just like a picture of Benoit Parker. Whatever, yeah, wait, and, yeah, Benoit Parker. What was her name too, by the way? Just give her a quick shout uh, out. Honestly, I don't remember. So I, <laughs> <laughs> no I'm sorry. <laughs> but our first album, Mar, that was I was at Warp Tour 2016, I think. I took that picture. If you look closely, you can actually see the people in Creeper sitting on the uh, uh, off into like the bay and all that, which is pretty cool. But other than that, I pretty much just make the other album arts, the logos and stuff. But we, we were trying to go someone different for that one. We wanted more like a uh, 2007, 2008 kind of vibe for it. I mean, the coolest thing, uh, he's wearing a Furnace Fest hoodie right now. We got to be on Furnace Fest. That was only like possible because we were on third string. I mean, it's it's cool working with Mike and Cheyenne. Um, we haven't really uh, done too much yet. Cause like, I mean, right when we got signed, the pandemic happened and all that. So, I mean, we had we had go, planned to go on a bunch of tours, um, release music sooner than we did too. But we have a couple more things planned for early this year that uh, will be out on Third String Records. So stay tuned for that, more to come. Yeah, and like uh, working with them as well too, um, just help me get a better feel of like the business side of the music scene as well too, because um, you know, coming from just being a local band, you know, we don't really know too much about that stuff. And um, we were able to learn quite a bit uh, when we went to Furnace Fest about, mm -hmm. you know, the behind the scenes of, you know, how all that stuff works. Still learning every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> big things, yeah. Big things. Yeah, really big things, actually. Big things coming soon. <laughs> no, um, we have a, uh, a new EP plan. Should, if it's not out by the summer, that's our fault, but 
We have some music videos shot. Um, plan on doing a few more. Then after that, it's just more music, more shows, hopefully a few tours. Yeah, we're not stopping with the music this year. Non-stop, nope. constant, always coming. You can't stop us. Dude, we recorded like, we demoed out like maybe like 40 songs total <laughs> and we narrowed it down. We could only narrow it down to like 14, 16, something like that. So we got a lot, we got a lot on the table. <laughs> all, all, all day long. I have the worst time management ever uh, in my family. It's known as tack of time in. He was late to his own house yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> late. I walked in his house and I was, I'm You're smacking like his... on his window like, yo. Yeah, you did. I, I can't help. It. I don't know what time it is. I am smacking his feet and he, he looks at me. He goes, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Me? Yeah. Just because you're more attractive, I feel they lean more towards, you well, know, when it's up to you. I don't fall through. Well, you also hit the gym all the time, so you can like... Yeah, oh yeah. I you can like pick physically them pick them up. Okay, yeah. I'll go back to my... I'll go, I'll go with me. I'm, go. I'm still, I'm still going to attack it. it. I mean, I probably I'll take would, it. yeah. Don't invite me to any funerals unless you want to hit me up. It's always the drummers. The reason I say Braden is because he ain't got no stamina. He's lacking the stamina. He doesn't have the knowledge. The scary movie knowledge. Yeah, he don't know I nothing. Really, I really don't. I could survive a possession, a slasher. Two percent. That's pretty much it. Shit, I could yeah. survive any of it. I would just go in a closet, <laughs> stay there, hide under a bed. Dude, I would. I don't know why they just don't leave most of the time. Yeah, I would, I don't, I mean, I would just leave. Front door is literally right country. there. Yeah, I would already have my plane booked. Pretty much it. I'm out of there. I don't give a fuck. I'm out. The you, moment I see <laughs> one thing out of place, I'm gone. It's, dude, literally, that house is sold. I'm, I'm at, out. I'm at someone else's house normally, and I'm already like, dude, someone's in the house. I'm already gone, bro. Mm -hmm. Can't catch me more than five minutes. I'd say Jacob. Yeah, definitely Jacob. Yeah. Well, it depends what you mean by inappropriate photo. Probably like a dick pic. Your See, asshole. I haven't taken one of those in like four years. But if we're talking something like a, a meme that's a little little raunchy, I mean, I have sent that sent one of those to my granny before on accident. <laughs> it's technically like shit in a toilet bowl uh, considered. Because uh, he's got a whole camera roll full of them. He's in a, I mean, there is a, a group chat with just, it's just the poop of the, like, the day. And they're very active. It's all people in, in the music scene, too. <laughs> they just I'm be, not gonna name any names. They just be pooping. But, I mean, like, I don't think I've ever said anything like that to a family member, but friend, I'm like, I've accidentally, like, screenshotted a friend's text and then sent it right to them. I'm trying to send it to someone else, but that's about that. I guess I'll go with myself. Yeah, Jacob. <laughs> Wait, okay, what was the question again? Lie to a police officer and get away with it. Oh. I think Jacob's pretty good at lying. Especially to people of authority. I mean, I lie all the time, but I mean, yeah, I've seen the lies you've told to your mom. <laughs> Shit's impressive, actually. Yeah, I'm changing mine. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. We're, we all lie. It's a problem. <laughs> Don't lie, kids. I mean, sometimes. Little white lies on my man. Yeah. Lying no, that's parents. a sin. Yeah, no. Go to hell. Going to hell anyway. In fact, we're all born sinners, right? Mm -hmm. Here in Florida, Especially Florida. I want to do that shit so bad. <laughs> um, once this uh, 
music shit don't work out, I'm gonna go right into acting. <laughs> now, even now, if there's anybody looking for a good actor, hit him up. Lance Parker. I've, I've done one music video so far. I'm open to more. But if you go to the For the Best YouTube channel, you'll see some of our acting. We, we film a lot of stuff too that we don't put up. We used to have a, our own little YouTube channel for uh, uh, collecting like action figures. And we would put a lot of heart into them, but we took a lot of videos down. Yeah. There's still some up. It's called Dead Broke. If you ever want to check it out. Who are we pointing at? I'm pointing at Braden. Braden's got his way through the woods, so you haven't been on those trips with him. Mm -hmm. He's got his way through the woods, but he don't got more than two brain cells. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the walking in circles for like three hours around the same damn tree. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Braden on that one. The same. I feel like Braden could get me lost in the woods, but he'd figure it out. You'd probably look at the moss on the tree and be like, yeah, I, I think we all would collectively be good lost in the woods. Oh, for sure. If you, it's all of us, you yeah, can get us no, all a point fucked. for that one. Yeah. Right? We're, we're all lost in the woods. <laughs> Alright, so I do it all the time. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, I do it yeah. all the time. I do it all the time too. I even told my girl the band comes first too. So I, I literally, <laughs> I literally will make plans and then blow them off and then go hang out with my boys. That's just how I am. That's how it be. Yeah. I can't follow through. Yeah. Can't follow through. Boys come first. I think that's baby. Oh, it's great. Dude, I have the worst memory. My short term memory is the worst. I couldn't tell you what I did this morning. Well, I okay. You yesterday. I'm gonna change it to Brayden because Brayden asked at least eight times, what's the cookhouse? <laughs> I asked last night what that shit was. I thought it was a restaurant. Uh, he was looking. He was looking it up on Google, looking at restaurants. <laughs> 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 at restaurant. I'm like, look it up on YouTube. Yeah, I thought they booked like some nice ass appointment at some fancy restaurant. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'm down for some steak. I guess both of them. Braden, Braden has also asked uh, what date this was plenty of times. That is a very, very hard question. We all do really stupid shit. Yeah. Point at yourself? Yeah. Yeah, it have to be Jacob. I'll go with Jacob. He probably makes something funny. I mean if I if I ever recorded you at Little Caesars, that a lot of shit that happened there would go viral. I never would. well, I never forget one time a customer came in and they wanted to return a pizza or whatever. And then this dude, she's talking, he just puts his hand up on the wall and just goes, What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> and that was the like the funniest shit. And she threw a fit. She didn't even have her receipt. You're gonna get a refund with. Or at least a tab off the pizza box. Yeah. Yeah, he has no chill. When Fun he's fact, that is a receipt. That if you take the tab off the pizza box, you'll see there. You were trying to return it, which is stupid to do in the first place. Bro. It's a little Cedar's pizza. It's gonna taste bad. Just accept it. It's also five bucks. Like, it's not that big of a loss. They got rid of that, man. Really? Yeah. That's some bullshit. I think it's like six bucks now. We're for the best. Uh, I'm Robert Tackett. I am Jacob. I am Brayden. I'm Lance. We got a new EP coming out soon. New songs coming out soon. Check out whatever it's shape or name. It's on Spotify, all that. Um, it's also on YouTube. We got a music video for Space and Oasis. Check them out. Shout out to uh, Third String Records too. Um, Santoku Media. Convicted Printing. Yeah. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, shout out to Denny's. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Shout, shout out IHOP. Yeah. Shout out IHOP. Shout Waffle out Denny's. Ooh. Shout out Voodoo Ranger. Shout That's out Naruto. Shout out Florence Sponsor. Pugh. Yeah. Shout out Liquid Death. Riley Reed, hit me up. You have a go. <laughs> <laughs> it's Riley Reed, come on. And uh, if you're looking for anyone for a reality TV show or anyone for a music video, hit me up. Also, we do weddings. And we have a moving company. I'm also a mechanic. I, I can work on your cars. So uh, fix your house too, carpenter. Yeah. And if you need you, new cabinet. <laughs> if you need a personal trainer, hit me up. We're for the best. <laughs>